Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week, so let's do it to it. This week, after this video, I'll be doing my full review on in and out of this entire OnePlus One phone, and also giving you my final thoughts if I'm going to be keeping this OnePlus One. So tune in next time later this week so you can check out the full review on what this phone can do exactly. Alrighty, let's start it off with the best live wallpaper of the week. It is called Blue Sky. You get birds flying through. And you also get like little deer as you see it moves in the background so you can see a lot further. Here next we have L lock screen. L lock screen is your, you know, wake up your phone when you're using L lock screen. This is what you're going to see and you can dismiss it. Uh, there's a tweet and you can dismiss them on either way of side. You can actually tap into it. It'll jump right to, you know, where it was coming from. If you look on the left side, we got a call button and a photo. So if we right way, we're gonna go into the dialer. If we go to the left side, we'll go into the camera. So unlocking, just bring it up. In the lock screen settings, you can see high status bar, clear notifications when unlocked, disable home button. With the taste of Android L, which could be lollipop, the new version, the 5.0 of Android. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Uppus Launcher. It claims to be the cleanest, most fastest, simple launcher out there. And it is pretty fast. Nothing crazy of customizing. When I clicked on the folder, it goes into other folders by sliding and it goes through all categorized little folder things there. Below, people nearby are using these applications so you can actually find other applications. You can try these out. There is no app drawer so your home screen has all the apps. Holding down, you see that you got some add widgets you can change the wallpaper there's some settings in here whenever you bring this down you got toggles up here for your battery your torch so torch will turn off your data your wi-fi there's more you can click in i won't use it but something you might like so go try it out for yourself here next we have noise with your volume when you turn it down or up you notice that that's not what it's supposed to look like. So I just changed my ring of volume. When you go into themes, you can get to the white version. You can make it look this way. You can make it look like, oh, and there's a, my heads up notification. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. And a Blackberry, um, Paranoid. You have another one side status bar. Click on that. Now if I turn the volume, you see it's up there. And if we go to audio media, we see the default music app. We can change a whole bunch of ringtones and volume panels to do everything individually. And if your volume buttons are broken, then you can just use the advanced and go on screen. But going back to the long press volume up, whatever application you're in, if I hold down on the volume button, it's going to go right down to my Google Keep Notes. If I hold the volume up, it's going to go right into my Instagram. That's a pretty cool little feature. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Heads Up. I've reviewed a couple of these, and they keep getting better and more, you know, stable. And the theme is right here, light and dark. And what exactly it does if we do a send a test notification. Right here, this Heads Up notification, whatever you're doing, will be up there. Uh, we could, you know, just miss it. We could tap into it and it'll go right to the app or uh, I just tap out here and it'll go away. That was just the, the dark theme and there's a the light theme. If you like uh, the white backgrounds, you can go here. You see that type of look there. Uh, if I take a screenshot, you see that I can share or delete this screenshot and it pops up just like that. Pretty cool, so go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Phono Paper. Now this application was trippy. Now listen to what's happening here. <laughs> Whatever the camera sees, it makes it into sound form. So it's kind of creepy a little bit. If I do this, each key, everything that's happening has a different sound to it. I guess like you can use this for notes and it'll like hear out what sounds make what. The white background doesn't have a lot of structure so it's pretty quiet. I really don't get it. I kind of want to say I know what it's doing but I, I, I really don't. Like I'm gonna take a picture outside and see what it does. And all of these little ridges are making those sounds to it. It's just gonna have to test it out for yourself to see how weird that really is. Here next, we have C floating. You're able to open up 
recent application, you see it, give, it tells you exactly what you're gonna do. So you got a little little bubble there. So wherever you're at, you just tap on it right there and you got your recent applications. Now you see you got more than just doing that. You got shortcuts, you got widgets, you got the block screen, but shortcuts, tap it on there, you see where it's gonna pop up. Then we got two shortcuts, and you got two little bubbles there. So you can have them and uh, rearrange them to the left side or anywhere on floating windows, only allows you to do one, I think. Let's see, yeah, only one. And uh, if you do the calculator, it'll tell you how to you know launch it and press OK. So grab it there and you can you know move it. If you hold down longer onto them, you could uh, resize. So now I got four different bubbles here. And if you don't want certain of them, you can just press X. So you got those ones and you got into the settings. Some settings there that I didn't really tweak or need to use. If you like it, go try it for yourself. Here next we have Hangouts Dialer. Now this accompanies your Hangouts. So if you didn't know, you can make calls on your Hangouts now. So if you click into your Hangouts or type in a number or click on your phone dialer right here, you'll be able to dial numbers. I'm not gonna click anything because numbers on my contact will start showing up. But you can make calls for free using your Google Hangouts phone number. For an example, I'm gonna press the call button. I'm recording you right now on YouTube making a test. Oh, okay. Wanted to show that hey, you can make calls through Wi-Fi or your data instead of using your minutes. That was pretty much it. I just wanted to test it out. So yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. Go use it. Here next we have Use Tool. Those of you guys who are in school or need to use it for work, pretty cool options. Uh, if you go into here, you got a lot of uh, different modes you can set in. Like if you want to do temperature, you're, not, you're gonna get all these like calculation sets for whatever you need. You go into the settings and you got the themes. So you can change the look of the background. So you go red, orange, uh, green. So you see you got different type of colors here. You can change the font to light or regular input field. You can do the dark, so you got the dark background right there as well. And that's it, that's all you gotta do is just back out and that's the calculator that you have right now. Obviously, you can just use it for a normal type of use there. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have GameStop. You can make an account here through GameStop so you can check out your power-up rewards. Those of you guys who are gamers will understand and want to use this for sure. Trading system where you can find out what your values. You can see games, consoles, electronics, or accessories. And uh, you can go to the shopping. You can go to the games. I like their setup, the way you're going to look. PS4, Xbox One, and other uh, maybe the PCs and stuff. But you can go to the filters. If you only want to see, I have an Xbox One, uh, press done, and I will only see Xbox One titles, bestsellers, or you want to see release date, pre-orders, which are going to start coming out, so you can also find out. I'm super, super excited. Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, for my Xbox One. I don't see it anywhere around here. They better come out in November. But anyways, if you want a home front, this one looks pretty cool. Information, when it releases. You can check out videos, find your local store, a lot of them in my area. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Spin Me. Let's say I'm sleeping and this alarm goes off. It won't do anything until you actually stand up, start turning as you're flipping and doing turns. <laughs> you're gonna have to forcibly wake up because you can't turn it off. Two thumbs, let's do a turn. <laughs> not only are you, I did almost two, three turns and it turned off. And not only did that wake you up and look silly, but now I'm dizzy. Not really, but I, I would imagine you get dizzy for that. Sit down back on my ball. <laughs> Woo! That was a, a effort right there to wake up for sure. I mean, you're gonna have to wake up using that application. Alarm tones to it. Uh, if you tap on here, you can. You know, set the times. Nothing much to it other than just putting on vibrate. I, it's a crazy little application here that you might like, so go try it out for yourself. And moving on to the last but not least app, we have HomeTube. This application is for the children who, you know, you hand them the phone. Well, this application is supposed to have all the kids stuff on here so they don't have to find anything inappropriate. You can just stare at the screen before the kid's like, oh, I don't know what I want to look at yet. Well, he'll be able to have some time to adjust and see what's different. Uh, then you'll see a lot of Spider-Man cartoons there. Uh, as you see, they all have their own categories of fast motorcycles. Uh, that's not very kid-friendly, but it's not like also bad. And it all depends on the parents who you are, what's inappropriate and what's appropriate. But you can go into uh, a quick setting. If you double tap real quickly, it goes into 
uh, customized content so you get add or remove what type of stuff that you don't want to see it's not like they can't leave because they can just press home and go open up your other YouTube app but if they're smart enough and you tell them to only use this application then you, you can block the other apps and just make them use this one so and once they click on it playing games or video simple stuff and there you guys have it these are the best 10 apps plus two of the week brought to you by me the cool loser off google play as always please like share this video don't forget to subscribe and spread the word of the cool loser i still didn't get to bring everything i wanted to offer yet i'm gonna slowly you know bring it in i also want to bring tips for every end of the video after i review apps you want to still listen into what i have to say at the end of the video and more information about what i'm going to be doing or you know the normal stuff but I'm gonna add tips to it. And now it's time to introduce you quick tip where I give you my tip of the week if you know what I mean. <laughs> Inappropriate. You should always clean your camera lens before taking pictures or video. Duh. I know you guys aren't stupid or anything, but this is just a friendly reminder because I've seen people who have really smudgy, nasty lens all dirty and crap. And I have this habit of always cleaning it off with my shirt or a little cloth. So this tip isn't necessarily like something like, whoa, I didn't know. But, you know, just clean your lenses so that pictures don't look crappy on Android. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Later.